it's Jerry Ann at scrapandstampcreations.blogspot.com and tonight I am going to be showing how I am making this birdcage tag for a swap that I am participating in over on the scrap beach. It's a mini um, journal or it's a mini album kit swap where we had a variety of different things that you needed to include in the packet and one handmade embellishment. And so um, as I was kind of sitting around the hospital last weekend and things, I came up with some really great ideas. So I have some really great projects coming up in the next couple of weeks on my Monday night show. And so tonight I thought I'd show everyone how to make this really cute um, tag um, I have to make multiple so I'm gonna kind of put them all together at the same time so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that I used was the um, the ornamental Tim Holtz die um, out of black chipboard in order to go for the back of my piece and then the uh, the next thing that you would need is the birdcage um, die from Tim Holtz. And both of these I have had but not used. Um, actually, the birdcage is the very first time that I've used it was today um, in my brand new big shot that I got a couple months ago. So um, I'm definitely using some of the things in my stash. So um, what I did is I covered my chipboard, I have black chipboard um, from Joann's and what I did was covered it with some patterned paper and then ran it through my die cut machine and that way it gave me really nice clean edges um, so that I could, um, so that it just looked really nice. There was no trying to line it up and glue everywhere it really smushed everything and did a really good job so I highly recommend kind of covering whatever it is that you are going to die cut if you're going to cover in a piece of cardstock that definitely layer it up and then run it through your big shot or your cuddle bug so hi Jean I am so much better so I am so glad that you guys could come over and see what's going on all right, so um, the ornamental die from Tim Holtz and the birdcage die. All right, this is the tag that we're making, just as everybody else is coming around to see. And that, so I just want you to see what we're kind of working on. I'm trying to think, here we go. We'll leave it. We'll move things around a little bit. I won't be able to find my... Um, my keyboard here in a minute but I will move this over so that it's kind of in the picture but not in the way all right so I have to make three more um, actually I am making one for myself one is an extra and then I had to have two kits so one kit for myself two kits to trade and then I was making an extra um, as well all right, so to get started, what I'm going to do is um, I have some um, from Office Depot, the one inch book rings in this big huge bucket and I have had them for a while. Um, they're a little small for uh, mini albums and things like that, but I decided I was going to use them on this. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to take my bird cage and line it up with the um, the top here. There's a little spike in the, the thing here. Hi Margo! And I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole. And then what happens is... Hi Vicki! Um, what I've done is I go ahead and put, let's see, this to go there, nope, it needs to go the other way. Does it go that way? All right, well, we'll, okay. Hi, Jean. 
All right, so I have a little bit of tool that I've put in between, and then I'm attaching the book ring to my bird cage. And that gives us kind of the little foopy tag part at the top. Okay, I'm gonna do that for all three of my pieces here. So again, I'm just lining it up and I'm hole punching. You guys don't have any idea how, how good it feels to finally feel good enough to be down here. My husband gave me his tool chest thingy that you know you attach things to um, with a pillow to put on underneath my desk so I could keep my foot up, which is really nice. Thank you. For what, Harrison? All right, so I have some tool from Michaels, and I'm just going to give it two. All right. So I'm guessing this is probably about 10 inches. I'm good. 10 inches. And all I'm doing is bunching it up. I'm gonna go ahead and put one here. Go ahead and tie this guy in a knot. It's what time? 10.30 in our time. It's not 10.30 our time. Why is it 10.30 in South Carolina? It's not. Tony's time is only 9.30. <laughs> Why yeah. is it 9.30 in her, in her state? Because she's in South Carolina. What coast is she on? I don't know. Which coast? The west. No, we're on the west coast. What coast is she on? East. On the east coast. You're right. You yep, on? and it's 9.30 in New Jersey, too. Tony says hi, Harrison. Hi, Tony. And let's see. There's there's Jean. Hi, Jean. And Artie Dar. Hi, Artie Dar. Margo. Um, hi, Margo. Let's see. Who else? Um, Lucinda is here. Hi, Lucinda. Lucinda. Let's see. There's Judy. Hi, Judy. <laughs> and there's Annette. 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 Yep. Who's Annette? Her name is Annette. Hi, Annette. <laughs> and let's see. Is there anybody else that we forgot for you to say hi to? Easy. Don't play Hello. with it. <laughs> and we have Canadian Robin, but I can't remember her first name. Me, 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 Vicky. Hi, K Nikki Canadian. Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Uh -huh. <laughs> he is, truly. Actually, I bet you he will be a monster truck announcer. <laughs> I am going to be a section setter. Oh, you're going to be a section setter? Oh, awesome. I'm just going to do ticket scanning. Ticket scanning? Okay. So for those of you who don't know, my son Harrison is nine and he is a kid on the spectrum and we work really hard in order to do all of the fun things. So anytime he really um, has a opportunity to kind of talk and chat and stuff, he really likes to do that. And you probably, if you've seen any of my videos, there was one where he built a birdhouse. He had to do that for Cub Scouts. And um, he did a really good job, and that was really nice. And, um, you know, we just, we work really hard, and, and the payoff is good at this point. Maybe it's just because I feel good right now. <laughs> so, all right, so last one with the tool. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, put my black piece first. <laughs> and we're just going to tie a knot here. The most of this project is um, 
most of this project really is just a gluing project. Um, I went through my stash, found some really good stuff and, and everything. All right, so we've got our little tool and our bird cages. <laughs> I'm not much of a singer. He is just becoming more and more. We um, invested in that. Um, we invested in Netflix for a short period of time this last um, this last month, and so I'm now starting to hear some children's songs and things. Um, it was hard, Gene. Um, he, he tried really hard and for, it, it wasn't just, you know, for the weekend. Um, it was, you know, I've been pretty much out of commission for a couple of weeks. So, and that where I haven't felt like doing anything. And the doctor seemed to think that the, the clots in my lungs were probably there long before, um, I started really feeling like I just didn't feel good so all right so the next thing I have are these prima flowers I'm gonna grab my thing here um, so I have these really pretty prima flowers and I'm gonna go ahead and attach that up here to a corner and then I'm gonna put the lace and the beads on the bottom of my bird cage hey Shannon how are you I'm feeling better. Did you get to see my cute little bird cage? Everybody say hi to Shannon. She's cut some paper. Okay, so I'm just adding some um, adhesive across the bottom here. There is your dinner. And adding the, um, the thing here. Can you just set that up there? Right here on the corner. It's not dirty on the bottom, right? Okay. It's not going to leave that big of a spot. Oh, well, it better not on my Catherine box. Alright, so we're going to add some adhesive across the bottom. Let's see here. Let's move that over just a little so we have a little more space. Here we go. All right. So my boys took me out to breakfast this morning, which is the first time I've really been out in quite a while. And that other than the doctor's appointments and stuff. So they were happy that I was able to go have breakfast with them. My husband's going to go back to work tomorrow. So that's good. Um, he's been off. Um, he took l the Friday before last off. And then last Friday kind of made it through work. But um, then was kind of on his own all weekend with Harrison and everything. And they do really well together. They really do. Um, but, you know, it's a lot of work, and um, especially when Harrison kind of is ready to go, or, you know, he doesn't understand why mom couldn't come home, and it was, it was definitely hard. All right, so I have this really pretty lace. I got it at Joann's, and then some of this bead trim I also got at Joann's during a, um, a sale, I'm sure. And I'm just layering up the bottom of my bird cage here. There we go. And I'm doing that on all three because I'm just really kind of work in production mode here. Oh, you guys, I feel so much better. 
You know I keep saying that, but it really is a huge thing. Yeah. All right, and last one. Uh, uh, no, I'm just, um, I haven't had that issue. I'm sure that, you know, you could kind of put the glue on the edges for the, for the, um, the lace and stuff, but I really haven't had a whole lot of an issue with it unraveling. Oh. Uh, Alright, so the next little thing are these cute little, um, flowers, and I'm going to do this one here. Yeah. I'm just adding that along the side there. Oh. I'm sorry. I know how hard it is to cancel plans, especially when you get an opportunity to go. Yeah. I I completely understand. There are very few people that my husband and I would leave my son with at all. Um, we're lucky that we have a couple of people and that. But my in-laws are older, and not that they can't do it. They just, you know, my son takes a lot of energy, and he's a lot of work. <laughs> And that when we went to Seattle so that I could go to Laura um, over on following the paper trails class and everything, um, we left him with my friend's mom. And they did a really great job together. Um, you know, we kind of had to be a bit creative. And that, but... Um, but it was nice. Um, when we finally were able to leave him. So. Alright. So I've got my three little flowers on. So the next thing I'm going to put on is my butterfly. And these butterflies are from uh, K and Company. And they are the Southwest Nature Butterflies Layered Accents. Um, from K and Company. They're from the Susan Wingett Collection and that so they're basically layered up butterflies and um, there's a couple of different sizes and everything so I'm just gonna grab three little ones there we go And I'm going to go ahead and attach this one up here. They're foam backed as well. Um, they've got adhesive on them, so they're really nice. And then I need another little one. Let's do, we'll do this one. It's a little bigger than I would have liked. However, it won't look that bad though. Okay. And then... Yeah. 
<laughs> I have these um, little flowers. These are recollections. They're little um, rosebud flowers. Um, and they come on that um, wire. Let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and stretch this one back out. Um, so usually they're tied. They've come with this little wire. One of the things that I really like is the little um, curly kind of thing. So what I do is I take my pokey tool and then I run the wire thing around my pokey tool in order to give the little curly cues. And then I kind of bunch it all together. And then I kind of, when I pull it out, I've got kind of a little bit of a, um, here. you've got a little bit of a curl to them. Really like that little detail. And then what I'm doing with these is um, taking this here in the corner and wrapping it around the edge of the bird cage to kind of climb up it a little bit and give it a little texture. It's also securing the flower to the, the bird cage at that point. Okay. So I have three of those and I already curled them up. And let's see, where's my third one? Here it is. All right. Right, so now I have the little ones on the front. Uh, yeah, I think it just looks really nice that way. All right, so now I have three butterflies for the inside. I think that one's a little big. Got one, two, and three. Right. So what I'm going to do with these, thank you, is I'm just going to kind of put my butterfly off center so that when my cage comes down, it'll catch its wing here. Oops, sorry. It'll catch its wing on this side to keep the, the bird cage down. Did Harrison go outside? I think so. Oh, okay. Luckily, we have a huge six foot fence, five foot fence. And again, the same thing. Wow, these are going together really super fast now that I got them, Dad. Nah. Daddy's eating dinner. Harrison finished dinner. Harrison decided it was still nice enough outside to go ride his scooter in the backyard. All right. And the neighbor's mowing his lawn. I can hear him. Okay. So I have um, these stickers that I got in a swap or a rack or something. So I'm going to use those down in the corner and actually I'm just going to kind of cut away part of it because I don't need all of it. Oh, I'm glad because really they're waiting. <laughs> they were really nice about waiting um, because I really, I really tried and I just could not, I just could muster anything. 
Okay, so those just went in the bottom there, just just on the bottom. Let's see, I'm going to use this one here. Nothing like feeling like you finally get to use your stash. <laughs> All right. I love the butterflies. All right, last one on this side. And I think what I'm gonna have to do is, here's one. And here's another, and I'm gonna go ahead and snip it. And then that leaves just the green leaves. And I have this package of, um, I have this package of floral kind of leaves that they're floral embellishments and they have the glitter on the edges which go really nice with those um, Prima flowers that were all glittered on the edges as well. And that, I am really liking these. I thought they, they would be really nice. All right. So the bigger leaves I attached to the back um, here. And the littler leaves up here in the corner I attached underneath the butterfly. I saw somebody make a rocking chair out of it. So I'm really kind of excited to see if I can do that once I get these done. And now that I've actually pulled the, the die out to use it. So, all right. And then these two little ones, I'm going to glue them together. And I'm going to go ahead and attach it right behind my butterfly there. Yeah, um, basically, um, I'll show you when I, when I find a minute, because it was really kind of neat. I was pretty, I was pretty impressed when I saw it. I'll have to run a couple of bird cages off of my, um, big shot, um, with some chipboard, um, showing kind of the basic that. Yeah. You know, um, it dries really fast. It's got a little more tooth than the Scotch Quick Dry. 
Um, and for when, when like the textures, like these leaves are like felty and everything. And so, um, so it, it needs just a little more. Yeah, it's sticky. And that it reminds me, it's texture is kind of like rubber cement, but it doesn't smell like that. I guess, you know, it's kind of, um, it's rubbery and that. So this tag here is all done. Uh, there we go. Let's see if I turn the light away a little further. There you go. There you can see some detail. So, yay. Um, it's the Beacon 3-in-1. I prefer um, score tape and the Scotch Quick Dry. Um, unless I'm using stuff like this for this kind of stuff. So, so there's that one. And that's two. So now we just need some leaves for this one here. Like I said, I have been thinking of things in my head for days <laughs> and finally being, finally feeling good enough to come down. I came down for a little while last night. Um, my husband, bless his heart, was like, you know, I'd really like to see you start moving <laughs> and that. So um, last night he really encouraged me to come down for a little while. So I was able to come down and hang out for a little while. Um, but all I did was pretty much put some things away and that everything that was up in my room has made it back down to the scrapbook room. So, um, all of those punches to do flowers and stuff are all back down here. All right. So now we need a couple of little flowers. Let's do a couple of these lighter ones. And it's going underneath this butterfly up here. I don't know that I would use this glue, Tony, with the Girl Scout group. And uh, I think that they would just make a huge mess and you would make, it, it would just be everywhere. Because it wouldn't be something I'd give Harrison to play with, you know, to use. So. So there's the third one. And then the last one. Oh, I have more of a reddish yellow leaf. Oh, look. These will be pretty. Yeah, well, I wasn't really up to doing much of anything last night. It was just one of those things where I had to put some stuff away or I couldn't find anything. And that. Uh, so I'll show you guys the rest of the kit when I'm done with these. Um, the rest of the kit that I'm sending. Because I know Tony wanted to see. I'm sure you guys do too. <laughs> and 
And then they proceeded to make lunch or dinner or something, right? And mess it all up. That's how it works at our house. <laughs> well, I really can't find anything, so... Well, and then I realized that I have a lot of people on on the pro, on on my um, on my UStream and everything, and I realized that one of the other things that um, I've had a ton of people place orders on my website, and um, I haven't sent any thank you notes, and I'm just feeling horrible about that. So I made my list of thank you notes that I need to get cracking on. So that's probably after I get this swap piece done, then I'll be making my, my thank you notes and I need to get out to the mailbox and everything. So, and get those out. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just really hard. I mean, you know, when you're talking $5 a bottle of glue. All right. Okay, hold on. I've got a bunch of things. Let's see. Okay, where am I? Let's see, there I am, okay. So, these are my trusty little pieces. I'm very excited. That's what I needed to get done tonight. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just really excited and I'm I'm happy that they were so patient. They totally understood. I had been in contact letting them know that I was trying, but I just really couldn't get it. I just couldn't get it worked out right. All right, so let's see. I saved some packaging. Here's my packaging here. So I'm gonna go ahead and slip these in here. If they fit. I'm going to have to find a different bag. Alright. Yeah, I really like how they turned out. Oh, you know what? I need to find my... Hold on. I need to find my... Uh. Okay. So the majority of you know... Um, <laughs> the majority of you know that I am a close to my heart consultant. And I, the two of the things that I absolutely love is the White Daisy ink pad and marker from Close to My Heart. And so um, they are amazing. And I'm going to go ahead and sign the back of my card here. And I'm going to show you how nice it comes up. Oh, are you you're not oh there you go so as you can see it's just a regular white um, white marker from close to my heart and when it dries it comes up white on black cardstock really really well um, the white daisy ink does exactly the same thing I absolutely love them they are my favorite kind of things when it comes to stuff like this um, in my description, there is a link to my website. So if you are looking for white daisy ink or white ink that comes up 
and shows up on dark surfaces and things like that. You can emboss with it. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, it's there. So I want you to know um, that that is an option. Because um, I know that a lot of people start looking around for different things. But if you're going to buy the ink, make sure you check out the bargain section. Um, there is a clearance section on my website too. And so there's usually dollar items and things like that. So definitely don't miss out on checking those parts too. Okay? Try to get on the squares but can't. I don't know what that means, Sandy, but okay. <laughs> so there's my tag all packaged up. All right. Oh, forgot to sign that one. And then I'll show you guys the rest of the kit. Um, these bags, the clear ones that I'm using right now, I think I picked up at a yard sale or at Michael's Joann's. We don't normally sell them, and usually I, when I buy bags, like clear bags and stuff, I buy them from a Stampin' Up! person because they're pretty much, I like them. So, so as you all know now, I'm not a purist. I love close to my heart stuff, but I'm not a purist, so... So I hope that this makes up for everything being late, that they'll be happy with them. And so. All right. All right. So what's in the goodie bag that they get when I'm sending the kit off? So they get one of those, and then what we had to do, actually I have to put some cardstock, some um, plain colored cardstock in as well, but that finishes up the last little thing. I just have to do that. So I've included some more of the butterflies from K and Company, the ones that we used on the tag. So there's a variety in there. Um, a rub-on sheet from Close to My Heart that's got um, different sentiments and stuff on it. Thought they would look really nice. Um, a package of orange bling um, because I used um, a lot of gold and um, brown kind of things within this. Um, we had to include eight flowers total um, and I included these flowers which are die cuts and they actually are from let me pull the package because I saved one a whole package for myself because you know can't send good things to everybody else <laughs> these are from Brenda Walton um, the Kane Company collection and they are the flora and faunal flower petal fabric art So I've got some of those and then some of these really cute flowers and then this flower here. So those are the flowers. I'm just going to slip those in here. 
So we had to send like eight flowers. There's probably more like 12 or so in there. And they'll go nice with the package. Um, I have a frame from Michaels. I thought this would be really cute on the front of the mini album. And this is a, a black frame. Um, we had to send eight pieces of trim or lace or ribbon or things. Um, and so I have um, this really pretty um, cording. Let's see if I can find a, a dark. This is the Prima uh, Fairy Bell collection. And I'll open that up. Ah. Um, but this is the really pretty lace. Um, this is some wider lace than the lace that we used tonight. Um, here, I found, here we go. Um, some really pretty trim here. There we go, so you can see. Um, that's got some gold braiding. And then this is that floral trim that you could spray. A little bit of those flat pack pearls. Some regular pearls. Some seam binding that is color ready from close to my heart. A piece of sequence trim. And then the other two pieces I showed you. So those are the trim pieces. And then um, I've got some journaling spots that I included that I thought were really neat. Um, these are from the French Connection. Um, they are adhesive backed and everything. So they kind of went well with the collection and their um, fabric. Um, they're kind of a canvas feel to them. And then out of some of the squash book materials, um, I got a tap 10 kind of thing. So here's kind of a little um, library card and then a top 10 kind of thing. Top 10 things I love that was in a soft color and then the library book. And then um, two of the quote pages, Words to Live By and then a quote kind of thing that explains what you think. Um, here's a set of butterfly charms. I have um, some brads that match the collection in peach and green, or pink and green and purple. And then I have some of these acrylic pieces. Goodness, this kit's really going to be awesome now that I'm looking at it. Um, these acrylic pieces that can be attached that say cherish hope and dream and you can run some um, chalk into the words and change the color and then you can put a attached cardstock to the back and make them any color you want so that's really cool and then um, I have a package of stacked butterfly and dragonfly stickers from Basil or from Dazzles, and that so these are kind of those really um, artsy, art decoy kind of lacy die cut stickers, and that and they're in silver. They're really kind of fun and pretty to play with. So each one of them have one of those. And then the best part is this paper. And this is, I waited and I looked and I looked and I looked and I couldn't find it. Um, no, um, some of the stuff is close to my heart. Some of the stuff is not. So no, the stickers are not close to my heart. I will have my close to my heart box tomorrow and um, be able to show you guys all the neat stuff that I'm going to use for my upcoming class on Monday nights. So, and these are the uh, Prima Fairy Bell collection of papers. Let's see. Okay. Can't really, let's see. Mm. 
and a stripe. And there's another fairy. And then kind of a pattern paper. There we go. Let's see if we can. And then this has got some script and everything to it. Really like it. And some doilies. And it's got the signature fairy bell kind of thing in it. This has got some more butterflies and stuff. So hopefully the stuff that I put in the kit really makes it nice so that they'll be able to make a really cute one. So I have a pad of paper. I made one of the tags for myself. Oh, yeah, I I wasn't really overly, you know, not, had to have it in 12 by 12 and that because I really really like it. It's called, it's Prima and it is called the Fairy Bell Collection. I don't know that I would use it in 12 by 12. So Thanks, Tony. So that's pretty much my my stuff for tonight. That's pretty good being on that I've been on about an hour and everything. I am I'm tired now, guys, to be very honest with you. And that it's been a long time since I've done anything like this. And so I am tickle pink. Oh, the rocking chair. Yes. Okay. Give me just a second. I'm going to cut out a few. Um, yep, the rocking chair. <laughs> All right. Okay. I am really happy to be here. I'm happy to be back. I really am. I, I have waited. I have tried. I've been patient. I have whined. All right. Let me go run a couple of bird cages. I'll be right back. I just have to go, um, my big shot's right across the way. Just gotta go run a few. Huh. I think you need three bird cages. Or bird, yeah, whatever they're called. I'm thinking it might have been four bird cages. Hold on. Let me see if I can find the last one. One more. It's 
a good thing when you can move and your leg doesn't hurt anymore. All right. <laughs> That's probably the biggest thing is that my leg doesn't hurt like it did before. It's still kind of crampy and that in that it um in that it still tells me the clots there, but it's not horrible. Okay. So, what I saw that I thought was just the coolest thing. Was this is the back of the chair. And then they took and cut this here to round that off on two of these. And then I'm thinking that it was cut here to make the seat. So what they did, and I'm not really sure how she attached anything. I'm thinking she used some much heavier chipboard. Hey, buddy. Will this help help on dinosaur work? Oh, that would show help on dinosaur work. I loved that. Do you want me to do it with work? I would love us to look at that with work. I remember that. What year was it from? Wasn't it from a couple years ago? 2010. 2010. That's when we got to do it. That's when we got to do it. Can I, can, I got this will help us and I got books that will help. I am so excited you found that Walking with the Dinosaurs book. I found it though. Do you want, will this help with dinosaur work? Yeah, it'll help with our dinosaur work. Do you remember? You know what? Did you look on your iPad and see if there was a, um, the Walking with Dinosaurs video. They don't have a website. No. They might have a website. You have to look for it. And I'm thinking I'm making it a big, big. Yeah, because there's an 8 o'clock game. Okay. Let's see here if I can get this in here right. And I'm thinking, Tony, your trick of like layering up cereal boxes, you know, maybe three or four, so that they were really thick, would kind of make this work a little nicer. You know, he's much better on the iPad than the computer. He's had an iPad now for about 18 months. And um, we bought it for him so that we could prove what he knew. And that, and so, um, 
it really has been a blessing and that he is interested in it, likes it, wants to use it, um, is willing to um, try. Okay, this is my messy version. And it's really, it's not, it's something very similar to this. Yeah, it's like a whole entire show and they bring the big dinosaurs out and everything. They have dinosaur costumes and all kinds of stuff. So, so anyway, here is the, I think this is kind of what she did. <laughs> it's kind of neat. <laughs> It, can like it looks like a chair. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, awesome. Okay. Can you, here, let me fix it so that you can pop a link on. Here. There you go. Can you give a link so everybody can kind of go play over there? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Thank you. So, everyone, thank you so much for coming to play tonight. I am so glad to finally be back in the swing of things. Um, I absolutely enjoyed hanging out with all of you and I will definitely be back on on my normal time Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, here on my Ustream channel and um, we will be working on some cards and a gift box on Monday night and I am so excited and thank you so much again for coming and hanging out. Um, I am just tickled pink, um, and it was so much fun. All right, good night, ladies. <laughs>